Hi guys, just using that Hall Effect sensor and the hard drive coil or hard drive actuator arm coil um, in the sort of way that you normally see these things on YouTube running a pulse motor. You might remember from the last video I showed you this um, plastic cap. I'd got a whole load of magnetic strips that I'd put round it and couldn't get it to work and realised the reason it couldn't work was because it had got double north-south strips along its length so it was stopping itself working instead of starting itself working so I'd sort of thrown it to one side in disgust quite a long time ago I was trying to make a pulse motor with it and what these strips are are strips out of um, well, it's the sort of stuff you put on a fridge magnet. They're magnetic tape. And I couldn't get it to work. I played around with it and I couldn't get it to work very well. I was going to say very well. I don't think I got it to work at all, to be honest. And I gave up on it. Well, playing with this Hall Effect sensor, looking for north and south, if I just look at one of the strips, I was interested to find that it actually goes north-south across the strip. And that's something I hadn't expected. And it goes north-south twice. So um, that's why I wasn't getting a very good result when I was trying to do a pulse motor. I'm sure it can be done, but it wasn't working for me. So all I've done now is stuck four magnets inside and as you can see it's flying. It's not very well balanced which is why it's rolling around a bit but that's working fine. I did move the coil just a little bit in relation to the hall sensor just so that it sends the pulse at the right time to spin the motor. A uh, couple of barbecue skewers just to support it, a small neodymium magnet which is the bearing surface for a nail that I've got sticking up through the middle of it. So that's the bearing, the point of the nail and the neodymium magnet. And it's flying around quite happily until it gets off balance <laughs> as you can see. But it seems to slow down then, settle itself down and get going again. Let's see if we can get any closer. So you can see the hard drive actuator arm there with the coil on it. Just behind that you can probably just make out the hall sensor. I made a slight change there. I've actually done away with the electrolytic capacitor. Just got a straight loop of wire. That feeds into the collector of that transistor. I think that's the 2222 in there now. But he's quite happy now. That pulse motor. Say so badly balanced. But uh, working nicely. So that'll do for tonight. Just a very quick update. I don't think it's a self starter. I'll just. Uh, it's stopping itself anyway, so let's see what happens. getting itself going again. It didn't actually come completely to a standstill but it's going again on its own. So it's just when it gets right out of balance it knocks itself out and then gets going again. <laughs> 